Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. I know you guys can see I'm a little red here. I actually played golf pretty much all day yesterday, but I wanna give you some free content today from my paid program known as the Zero to 10K Challenge. And this specific module is going to show you exactly what you need to be doing as far as email marketing after you run your first solo ad. What's the type of testing that you need to do? We're gonna dig deep. I'm gonna show you the different subject lines that I used in my marketing, the different bodies that I use as far as the text. I'm gonna show you exactly how to test the right way, how to use landing pages in the right way to separate and differentiate yourself from the marketplace. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking that big red subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up if you're excited for the content and do not forget to take that bell icon to be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight to the computer and dive into this content. Hey guys, what's going on? Josh Elder here as always. And in this video, I wanna give you an update on the autoresponder series and the broadcast emails that we've sent out over the past week. What I wanted to do is test really the difference between GetResponse and AWeber. Because one of the biggest problems that you're gonna have when it comes to email marketing is the autoresponder itself. Emails being delivered in spam instead of the primary inbox, dealing with getting shut down because you're promoting affiliate offers. And so you gotta be very selective of the autoresponder that you pick. And based off of the autoresponder that you pick, you wanna make sure that you follow their rules and their guidelines. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's show you the results from the first four autoresponders and as well the first few broadcast emails that we tested and sent out and their results respectively. So the first thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna go to email marketing right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to select newsletters. Newsletters should already be selected. And then you're gonna to go to the specific list that we're using for this case study, which in our case is Igor, 7, Igor K722. And then we're gonna select apply. And you can see the two emails that we sent out. Now there was one other email that I sent out and accidentally I was logged into another list. And so it's going to be in that list. So I'm gonna pull up Funnel X ROI 72, so you guys can see it. Uh, it should be down here quite a ways. Let's, it's right here, email marketing tutorial one. As you can see, 491 people. That's from you know Igor K722. So you wanna make sure that when you're sending out an email, if you have more than one list, make sure that you are logged into that specific list. In other words, the way that you would do it is when you go to send out an email, um, you would typically select from the drop down menu the list that you want to send from. So let me show you what this looks like really quickly so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go back to the home page over here. I'm going to go to email marketing, or we can even go to create newsletter right here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then drag and drop email editor and then the linked list. You wanna make sure that you select the list that you created for this case study. That's if you have other lists. In my case, I didn't do that for my first email. That's why you're seeing the two newsletters instead of the three under Igor K722. Okay, so with that being said, let me go back here to email marketing and let's go ahead and take a look at the first broadcast email. And you guys can see that it was 1.43% open rate and a 0.2% click-through rate. Kind of low, right? And here's what the email looked like. And I'm going to give you guys access to all these email swipes. I'm going to give you access to all the subject lines um, as well and the percentages respectively. So you can go through all the swipe and find out the best subject lines that I used the best email bodies that I used, and you can swipe them, you can model them, you can copy them, okay? So the purpose of this first broadcast email was to send people to what's called a bridge page. In this case, our bridge page is our YouTube video, okay? And essentially what this YouTube video does 
is it bridges people from what the customer wants and what the offer has to offer. So obviously our market, people want to learn how to make money online. And so I give them a three-step process that's going to help them earn seven figures per year that my business partner and good friend, John Cristani has used. And the way that I found this is I actually went over to ClickBank. Okay. So if we go to ClickBank right here, it's important that you know the product that you're promoting, because if you don't know the product that you're promoting, it's going to be very difficult to generate sales. So what I did is I went to e-business and e-marketing, logged into the marketplace, went to the JV affiliate page right here. And if we scroll down, we should be able to find where it talks about the product. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. It's right here. Customer testimonials. Super Affiliate Systems Training Course has created five seven-figure marketers. The combination of paid advertising and affiliate marketing just plain works. Add to a pre-sell page to an offer. It's not a complicated formula. And the way we teach it has helped thousands of people do everything from create a respectable side income all the way to making seven figures per year online and live the life of their dreams. So essentially what I did, I'm like, okay, I just looked at the JV page to learn what the, the, the product is about. And I decided to create a little video about it. And I essentially said something along the lines of, hey, you know, I know some of you guys on my list, you want to make more money, you want to have more freedom. And my good friend and business partner just released a three-step process that he's used and his students have used to earn seven figures and even eight figures online. And here's the way that it works. You take people from an ad and then you send them from like an ad on Facebook, YouTube, uh, even email, and you send them to what's called the pre-sale page. And the purpose of a pre-sale page is to pre-educate and pre-sell somebody on a product or a service. So by the time that they get to that product or service, they're kind of indoctrinated into you. They know, like, and trust you. And then you simply send them to the offer and let the offer do the selling and telling. So I essentially said something like that in the video. And I will actually show you guys the video. I will link it below um, in the resources section so you can check it out so you can model off of it. So what you want to really be doing with your email marketing is you want to differentiate yourself from everybody else that's doing email marketing because you might be emailing the same list that other people have access to. Now, I don't think Igor does this, but I know on Udemy.com a lot of times there's a lot of people that buy from the same vendor, which that vendor has the same emails that you and somebody else could be sharing if you bought from that vendor. And so what you need to do is you need to stand head and shoulders above your competition. And by having a bridge page and even sending people to a personal video where you are showing your face is going to make the biggest difference. If not, you don't need to. Like I said, you can share your screen and give people that same information that you would give here, maybe like in a PowerPoint presentation. You can even go on and throw some of these students into your PowerPoint slide. And then it can be like, you know, two to three minutes long where you're explaining people this process. And then you could say at the end, hey, if you want a deep dive on how this three-step process works, click the link below, go ahead and sign up for John's webinar and I know you're going to get tons of value and I hope to see you on the webinar and you just leave it at that. So it's really that simple. So having a bridge page, you guys, that bridges people from your email to the offer, whether it's a bridge page on Facebook and it's a long form post, whether it's a YouTube video, whether it's something on a blog, you want to warm people up. You don't just want to send them straight to the offer anymore. Uh, long gone are the days where you can get away with that. And so that's exactly what I did within this specific email right here. And then because I only got like a 0.2% click through rate and a 1.43% open rate, I started to test against that. I started to test other subject lines because you want to test each variable individually. So you want to test the subject line, keep testing the subject line. You want to segment people that didn't open 
this email, you want to segment them on a different uh, segment of a list. Essentially, it's just kind of another list. And then you want to email those people with a new subject line until you get them to open. And that's what I did over the course of the past week, you guys. And then once you get that down, you test another variable. It's like a science experiment. You don't test more than one variable at once. So you test the subject line, then you can test the body, then you can test where your links are at, so on and so forth. And then you would even test your video. How long are, is somebody watching your bridge video? Or you know, are they actually reading your text on your bridge page if you're doing like a blog post or a Facebook post? Are they actually clicking that link at the bottom? Because essentially what you would do is do the same thing that I did on YouTube, but at the bottom of your Facebook post, you would just have a link that goes straight to the offer. And the way that you would test that, of course, is you would test that through click magic. If you don't have click magic, that's something that you'll definitely want to think about in the future. But as far as creating a actual bridge page on a landing page like click funnels, uh, we're not doing that quite yet, right? Because I want you guys to get results as fast as possible without having to invest in all these tools. But the essential tools when you're getting started is going to be get response and something like click magic. And you can get access to click magic. I think it's 47 bucks a month. There's also an alternative that's a one-time fee, not quite as advanced as Click Magic, but has everything you need to really get started and off and running in the right direction. So this was the first you know, email that I had sent out. And of course, I'll have these swipes below that you can get access to. But essentially, that's all I did is I had my YouTube video link right here. And I would lead people to the link to the video. Underneath that video, I'd have the link to the webinar, my affiliate link. So let's go ahead and look at the other newsletter broadcast that we send out. So I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna select Igor K722. So here's another email that I sent out right here. And you can see this was April 9th, 2019. This actually got a better open rate, 2.65% open rate. So we're seeing an improvement in open rate, you guys, which is huge. And then we have another email right here that got a 1.22% open rate. Again, testing different subject lines. This one was actually lower than the previous one. One mistake that I made here with GetResponse is I did not segment my uh, unopens on a different list and then send them a you know another email. Instead, what I did is I was switching up the body of the email. So in case somebody previously that open an email, they open the second or third email, that the email looked a little bit different. And so that's the mistake that I made here. You need to make sure that after 24 hours, even you know 24 to 48 hours, you take the people that did not open the email and you segment them, you put them on another list, and then you test a new subject line on those people. Then you can keep the uh, body of the email intact the same copy that you used before so that's why you're seeing on each of these the body of the email is actually slightly different okay but it leads people to the exact same youtube video and over to john cristani's offer so if there's one thing that you can take away from this section is to make sure that you test one variable at a time and make sure that you segment your unopens to another list every 24 to 48 hours because sometimes it's not about getting that one email that's going to get like an 8 to 10% open rate. We know that's not happening here. Sometimes it's gradually getting more and more and more and more people to open over time, which will be the equivalent of having one, uh, being a one hit wonder, having one email that gets a lot of opens. It's consistency that's going to make the difference. So just because you get a 1% or a 2% open rate does not mean that you should quit on the campaign. And that's what I've learned from these leads. Sometimes you get a batch of leads that just don't convert as well as an, another batch of leads. So you want to keep testing, do a lot of testing. Don't just buy one solo ad from one provider and think that, oh my gosh, this provider is terrible. You don't have enough data yet. You need to gather more data. And that's exactly what we're doing right here. 
So after we checked our newsletters, we wanna go ahead and we wanna check the autoresponder series. So you're just gonna select autoresponder right here. And you can see the follow-ups that we've preloaded um, when we first set up this autoresponder. And you can see the open rate, this one actually had a pretty dang good open rate, 4.76. Click-through rates are pretty low across the board. This one had a 2.65, this one had a 2.02 and this one had a 1.22. So we know this list is somewhat responsive. Uh, it's a little stubborn because we want the higher open rate, but again, that's gonna come with time, testing different subject lines, segmenting, and continuing to consistently uh, send out emails. So what I decided to do after seeing these first results of the broadcast emails and just such a low open rate, I was expecting even on these more of like an eight to 10%. I'm like, maybe the emails are ending up in spam. So what I did is I decided to export these emails. And so essentially what I did is I went to contacts up here. And then what I did is I went over here to Igor seven Igor K seven two two, went ahead and clicked on that, and then I went over here and I selected export, and I just saved this time to my desktop. And then what I did is I went over here to get response. I went to subscribers, and then I went to add subscribers. And then I went to import more than 10 subscribers. And what I did is I clicked the browse and I imported these subscribers from a file. And then I just completed all these steps. So like, how did they join? They joined from obviously, uh, you know, join my newsletter from uh, get response. And then you can add follow-ups and all that good stuff. So let me see if I can actually walk you guys through here. Um, which it looks like I can because I still have access to these leads. And then you're just going to select uh, name email here, just like it shows. You don't need to worry about any of the other stuff. And then I'm going to go next. And then how did these subscribers join your list? They signed up on my website. If you got your website set up, and by the way, you guys, this is only for those of you that want to use Aweber, Okay and you wanna test this. My overall results, I didn't really see a huge increase between GetResponse and Aweber after my testing. Now, I'm gonna to continue to do a little bit more testing, but I didn't see a huge increase. So you guys don't need to import your leads over here to Aweber if you do not want to. That is not mandatory. So you can enter your domain right here, as long as it's not promoting Funnel X ROI, uh, Igor. So you need to be super careful. Aweber is one of those that really doesn't like uh, affiliate marketers much. So after you've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this out. Are you bringing this list from another email provider? Yes. Select get response. I would select next and then no right here. And then opt-in message, no, do not ask my subscribers to opt into my list again. Select no here, and then next, and then on tagging, you just click next again. Of course, I'm not gonna import this all over again because I've already um, you know, done that. But we're gonna go back to the home page, and then what I'm gonna do is we are going to check out the results that I got by importing the list from GetResponse to Aweber and uh, let's see if our open rates are any different. And you're, you'll notice that they're very much the same. Maybe they increased just slightly, but again, not a huge difference, you guys. And so what I did is I continue to test different subject lines. So you've got one, urgent, this concerns you. Three stupid, simple steps to one million. Ha these all have the same body right here. Other than this one, I went out on a whim and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna send like the most hypey email and this is an email that uh that paulo uses so this was the only email where i kind of broke that rule of testing one thing at a time and so as a result of this email i got a 3.2 percent open rate and a 0.8 percent click-through rate which is the best out of all the emails that i sent out the big thing is a 3.2 percent open rate 
just by changing the subject line to congratulations. And you'll notice with each one of these, I segmented my list. So this was sent to all 491. I took the people that did not open, segmented them on a new list, 482. So it appears that not only nine people or so opened. So I took 482, put them on a different list or a different segmentation, in other words, and I sent those people the same body with a different subject line. And then, of course, we switched it up, completely changed the body, completely changed the subject line. Me and Paulo got on a call. I'm like, what can we do to increase the open rates? Of course, he's the expert. He says, send this email out and you'll, you know, you'll like the results, which the results are double uh, here as far as click through rate than my other emails. And we improved the open rate overall. So then what we did, this one actually was sent out twice on accident. That's why you're seeing this complaint over here. So just disregard this uh, email right here. And then I tested a couple different subject lines, as you can see, April 16th and the 18th. And this got 1.5%. This got 0.9%, no clicks. Um, so it appears that the list is very responsive to subject lines like this. So what can I do to be more creative with my subject line? Maybe I can have another subject line that relates to this one to get more and more people to open. So that's the idea, you guys, is you, we want to test different subject lines. You want to be segmenting. That's the common theme within this video, of course. Um, and that's really what I wanted to show you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to export all these emails from GetResponse and Aweber. I'm going to put all the percentages as far as open rates and click-through rates respectively in a Google Doc for you. So you can swipe them and you can use the best from what I've used this past week. So with that being said, I hope you got value from this video. I hope you take what I did correctly within this past week. You start to implement it in your email marketing. The difference between your success and your failure is the consistency. Yes, a lot of people might not open in the beginning, but keep emailing them. Keep segmenting. Try different subject lines. Test. You are a scientist in a lab when it comes to marketing. Marketing is just a big test. And what we'll do is we'll develop all these swipes over time. And we'll take the best ones that we can always refer back to and take those best subject lines and use them for future emails. With that said, go ahead, take action, start emailing your list, start using bridge pages, start using bridge videos. Um, and I hope to see your guys' success, hope to see some results. Just focus on the open rates and the click-through rates right now. Don't worry too much about generating sales. If you do, great. If you don't, that's okay too because we're still in the testing phases. So if you guys got value from this video, please like this video. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tick that bell. And if you want to learn more about the 0 to 10K challenge, how to go from 0 to $10,000 per month, in which I show you step by step and click by click, you're actually watching me take a business from nothing to $10,000 a month, and you're following me right behind me and doing what I do as I do it. If you want to learn how to do that, go ahead, click the link below, fill out the application, and I hope to see you on the next page.